Hey friends, grab a marker and some glue and some scissors and you should be good. Right now I'm writing 2021, but I'm writing it backwards as you can see. And we're writing it backwards because we're going to be making a print with it. So I've got that down and now I'm just going to grab some string. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be gluing the string down in the shape of what we just drew here and then letting it dry so we can later cover it with paint and print it. So this is just some regular twine. I'm just coating my whole uh, piece of cardboard with some glue so that, you know, I can uh, go ahead and take my string and cut it into the size of the pieces I need and attach it right there. And you can use um, school glue for this. I ended up using glue stick glue because I found that it dries faster and it's still really just, it does work. So it's all good if you just use uh, glue stick glue or school glue. So now what I'm doing next is uh, pretty self-explanatory. I'm taking all of these different little uh, marks that I made and you can make as many marks as you want on this uh, piece of cardboard. You can make more little uh, exclamation signs that are pointing out um, or really whatever you want to do. If you want to use the cardboard method, you can do that. Like and by the cardboard method, I mean gluing cardboard down as opposed to gluing string down. It's just we didn't do a video with string. And since this project this week is optional, I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to try this out. So, pretty self-explanatory. I broke my two up into two pieces of string, but you can just do it with one piece of string. It's a matter of preference. And now I'm doing my O all the way around. I sort of wish I did this in cardboard because it would be super simple to cut out um, a circle in cardboard and just leave it like that but you know that's the way it is. I'm adding a little bit more glue here to make sure my uh, my string is really on there and move it around so I get it. Adding a little bit more glue here and I'm going to repeat the same procedure with my second two. Cut that loose. I'm going to give this a minute or two to dry. Uh, if you use school glue, take a longer time to let it dry. But here's the next thing. I've got a sponge and a little bit of liquid paint. This is acrylic paint. I'm going to cover my sponge with it. And then, this is important, I'm just going to dab the surface with my, um, with my sponge covered in the acrylic or whatever liquid paint you are using. So I'm dabbing, 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 co covering the whole surface of what I want to show up on the other side of the paper. After that, I'm going to lay my sponge down, and I'm going to be very careful picking this up and laying it flat on my other piece of paper. Pressing it down evenly, and here we'll see how it comes out pretty soon. Giving it a good press. Oop, and there it is. Happy 2020, everybody. I hope you enjoy this video, um, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.